Hey everybody, um, sitting here at uh, Freightliner in French Cap, California. Our truck's got some issues, so uh, the shop in our uh, Lathrop yard couldn't fix it, so they sent us over here to Lathrop, um, or to French Camp um, Freightliner, Delta Truck Center. Anyways, um, I, um, I'm so glad that we have a great, um, agency that will protect the life of our president um, and I'm talking about our Secret Service um, our law enforcement who are assigned um, on the Secret Service detail to protect our president um, still don't know a lot of information on that shooter from uh, yesterday that was uh, outside of the White House grounds he wasn't on the property he was outside the perimeter um, so the uh, law enforcement detail um, were the ones that actually engage this individual um, and uh, shot him and went to the hospital. So um, it's interesting that the news media is definitely quiet about this, trying to find out who the individual was or what his motivations were. Uh, to me, it sounds like one of these fascistic anarchists, but I don't know. I'm just speculating. Anyways, um, I just clicked on uh, Google and saw an article, and uh, it just seems to be trending here the last week as... Um, but uh, today, uh, I'm just so irritated at the fact that uh, the news media is pushing this agenda that, uh, oh, all Americans, look at, uh, it, it started with a picture of an American passport, and it said, uh, a mass exodus of Americans leaving because they're fed up with the country. Yeah, that's BS. You know what? If you don't like America, you don't like this country, psh, goodbye. Goodbye. You don't want to stay here and fight and live in the freest country on this nation? Um, why do people in over 190 countries come to America? Because we are the freest nation on this planet. We can say anything, do anything, as evidenced by all this crap going on in Seattle and Chicago and Minneapolis. Um, you know, those, those are failed cities led by Democrat uh, governors and Democrat mayors. Uh, they're allowing this crap to happen. Uh, our law enforcement, our police are the ones, they're the front line. They're the ones that keep um, our city safe. If, uh, if you're a person that doesn't believe in uh, owning firearms, um, check this scenario out. Think about this. And you don't have a firearm. You're sleeping in the middle of the night and you hear somebody breaking into your house. Um, and you don't have a firearm to protect and defend yourself, which doesn't make sense to me but if you're one of those people who doesn't what are you gonna do the first thing you do you gonna grab the phone and, and dial 911 who responds at 911 is it that social worker from a Democrat city that says oh yeah I'm gonna get out of bed yeah I'll be over there in a minute to talk to the person breaking in your house no you're gonna dial 911 and law enforcement's gonna respond um, <laughs> you know it just doesn't make sense that these people um, are destroying they're they're destroying uh, people's livelihoods they're destroying these buildings they're burning them down they're, they're, there's people that work in these buildings that's their livelihood that's their income and uh, they come into the cities and they they, they burn um, these facilities uh, I just saw a YouTube video of some lady uh, breaking into one of these high-end um, a mall saying, uh, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, as she was looting and stealing stuff. Um, so there needs, you know, I, and that's just one of many, many. Uh, this weekend was just pretty horrific for Chicago. Um, we need stricter laws. We need laws um, where when these people are caught for stealing and burning and shooting um, uh, people uh, don't just arrest them and then uh, have them released five minutes or ten minutes later no they need to serve prison terms of 10 15 or 20 years for these horrific crimes um, it's bad it's bad you know and if you're a Democrat and uh, you believe that uh, that's the right way, then, uh, yeah, you need to get your passport and get the hell out of this country because um, I'm not going anywhere. I love America. I wasn't born in this country, but I was raised in America. And um, it's not going to last long. 
uh, President Trump, uh, by God's will and God's grace, will get reelected, and um, he'll start moving things around and uh, forcing um, through the legal system these people to start taking care of we, the American people. Um, or we just need to vote them out. And if that's not going to work, then we need an Article 5, a convention of states. And then we, the people, will move these um, uh, senators or representatives that have been in office 10, 20, 30, sometimes 40 years. You know, our founding fathers didn't intend uh, to be, um, and probably didn't even foresee these people being in office uh, uh, that long. You know, they believed they'd, they, they would uh, come in you know, on their walking or on their horse, you know, um, take care of the government, uh, the business of the state, you know, and and, uh, and go back to uh, their lives. You know, these people, the politicians, they get into uh, that particular office, they get a nice fat paycheck, they get a, uh, a premium uh, Cadillac health insurance, um, and then they get a great retirement plan. As soon as they get elected as a state senator, um, uh, they can serve one term, get out, and uh, they have a lifetime retirement check of uh, almost equal to what they're making. And most of them are making $175,000 a year. Um, that stuff makes me sick. That's why we need an Article 5, a convention of states to term limit uh, United States senators, U.S. representatives, um, and U.S. Supreme Court uh, appointees. Anyways, those are my thoughts. I'm sitting here sweating at Delta Truck Center in French Camp, California. Booyah.